Hey guys, this is David for IvyPoker.com, and today we're going to be doing a video of four tables of NL50 Zoom. Um, I'm going to be playing, uh, yeah, four tables without a HUD, as you can see. Um, I don't really um, have any hands on like pretty much any of these guys anyway, um, as you, you know, probably could guess. So, um, <coughs> excuse me. So uh, it's not going to really matter too much anyway. Um, I realize obviously after you know playing for 30 minutes or something I would get numbers and that would help me you know maybe make some reads but I think it's um, for the first video anyway I'm just gonna leave no no HUD there. Um, here I decided to make a squeeze of King Queen in a spot where I think calling is okay as well um, and similarly here I'm just going to make kind of a tight fold of Ace Jack. I think in both of the spots um, <coughs> it's just like a, yeah it's a spot where uh, depending on the like I guess what I would call the current meta game in terms of you know how 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 much people are fighting back in those spots, um, you will either get played back a, like a lot or um, not much at all. Um, I think I mean obviously it's possible people are playing back like a somewhat appropriate amount, but in general um, I think people are uh, yeah playing back either not enough or too much. And I think at like lower limits at certain times I found that people tend to be um, yeah, playing back like like a lot. I'm um, just like you know three bit, especially in like three bit, four bit wars when there's like squeezing and stuff. Um, yeah, he doesn't really rip much as you guys hopefully um, know, but uh, without any history or reads, I'm, <coughs> I'm just gonna fold this as it's pretty much towards the bottom of my range, or maybe even the bottom of my range. Queen high with pretty much no equity. I'm um, of the kings. I squeeze and decided to just see it. I think at like higher stakes where you're concerned about playing balanced and concerned about your range. I wouldn't really like c bidding here too often just because I don't really want to see bid my air too often on this board. Um as it's very likely that either of them have um tens, jacks or ace queen which um pro usually don't fold on this board. But at fifty and I think we should just play um basically for in terms of what's max E V in a vacuum and I think that's basically just bidding to get value. Um and similarly here um, I think it may be better for our range to just call, but I think um, in a vacuum it's better to raise, and as such, we should do that. Um, it's I don't have history of the guy, and I'm not going to be playing from much, so I think I should just yeah, aim to maximize EV by um, by yeah, getting value a bit, basically. Um, here of queen ten, I am going to fold to three x. Um, if I had a bit more reads, I could sometimes. I don't mind defending this by calling, and I also wouldn't hate three bidding this sometimes. Although I think calling, I would prefer calling to three bidding usually, just because when I three bid this hand, uh, it plays fairly poorly against his, um, against his flatting range, and it's dominated rather often, and the equity isn't too good. Like he's gonna have ace queen king queen, and maybe like queen jack suited quite often. So yeah, um, I'm just gonna win race from every position in this video. Um, and yeah, here with king queen, uh, sorry, with ace queen, I think flatting is fine, um, but three bidding is also fine. Um, it's it's good to have like a slightly wide value range when we're perceived to be bluffing um, wide. And yeah, um, so Jack two suited just gonna fold to this small three bit. Um, I think folding in the first place is obviously fine, but um, <coughs> I think in general people don't really. Uh, especially at like yeah, 50 and um, 50 and now and lower, people don't really defend that wide. It's actually funny because like a lot of rigs will defend really tightly, but then fish actually some fish defend really widely by misplaying. So um, it's interesting because usually in most spots it's it's another way around. I, would, I guess um, yeah, we're just gonna squeeze Ace King on the button. Um, Jack 10, uh, nine deuce to the min raise. I don't think we need to defend this. Um, Jack 10, I'm actually gonna call against the three X. Um, because he's got a yeah pretty weak, short stack, so I think he's most likely going to be a weaker player. So I think yeah, automatically um, that makes me more like like more uh, inclined to call this hand. Um, and yeah, he's just going to call there. Uh, I think Jack Ten. Um, we probably could uh, just check and decide river, but I think bidding really small for value is fine as well. And again, I'm mostly going to be focused on vacuum plays. Um, at these limits, like I'm just aiming to do what's best for my hand rather than for my range. Um, and here I've checked here, and I decided to raise to isolate the weaker player. Um, he limped button with like a short stack, so most likely going to be a recreational weaker player. Uh, once the big blind called, I decided to not see bit this flop. Um, 
<laughs> and I think three way, uh, it's it's fine for me to just um, give up on the turn. Um, because even though we have equity and sometimes have the best hand, uh, it's rather unlikely he buffs into two people here and he's going to sometimes have a random queen and he's also going to have a lot of a6. Um, even though he did limp the button, um, I do find like weaker players just have random crappy a6 and they range a decent amount. Um, king queen, uh, it's a spot where betting the flop certainly would be fine, but it's generally a board that hits his range pretty hard and as a result, uh, I think checking back this hand is fine um, and I don't mind just falling to the turn bet. Uh, I also wouldn't mind raising or calling sometimes, um, especially since we can have some, well, I mean, really we're only really ripping deuces because we're not perceived to check back. Um, because we're not perceived to check back uh, like sets or straights and stuff and we probably shouldn't, on the flop that is. Um, Kinate suited. Uh, his sizing has been pretty big so far, um, and I'm not thrilled. But I think without equity, we need to be peeling the turn. Um, I'm probably just falling the river. It's pretty hard for him to be bluffing here. I think. Um, yeah, here I decided to peel threes under the gun plus one against um, someone with a short stack, or like shorter than fifty dollars anyway. Um, and yeah, ten eight suit. I'm just gonna fold. Um, if I don't think people generally battle these boards too liberally, but if you find someone is, because you, you know perhaps you had a hand that was good enough to call, and then you saw that he had a pretty weak hand, um, then you can certainly adjust um, in multiple ways. Uh, one of the one of the ways is just basically peeling flops or turns uh, lighter, uh, sorry tighter against these players because they're gonna you know barrel barrel future streets, but uh, also. Um, you can just adjust by calling your strongest hands on the flop. So if you have a straight or two pair of sets, you know, you don't have to raise on, you don't have to raise. Um, you can just call. Can it suit a little bit loose, but I think there's going to be at least two weak players behind, so I'm fine with it. Um, 4-3 suited to a 3x, I don't hate um, just calling, but I think 3 ring is going to play uh, reasonably well as well. So I would mix it up. Um, I don't hate folding against either someone who's really tight or very good. Um, against that sizing anyway, but in general, I think we should be defending that. And um, Ace King just going to three and get it in against the stack size. Um, yeah, if, if he was full stacked, I would consider just flatting um, because we don't really want to have a particularly wide three bit range here. So um, yeah, and, and usually when you get it in against most people, it's, it doesn't end up doesn't work out too well. But yeah, against a short shortish stack, um, I think this three ring is fine. Um, on the flop, it's a spot where I don't mind bidding and I don't mind checking. I think if we check, we should generally be check calling as opposed to check folding, depending on his sizing. Um, when he bets that big, I'm just going to fold the, um, especially with this the stack sizes, meaning that he's going to shove the turn a lot, even if he's got maybe a semi bluff. Um, I'm just going to go a bit quite big on the turn here. Um, there's a lot of perceived draws in our range and. Um, he can. I think he picks up equity a lot of the time on this turn. Either maybe a flush draw himself sometimes, but especially like with a pair plus draw. Um, and he called pretty quickly, so I think he's got a6 more often um, than 9x. But I'm just gonna go ahead and bet big anyway because he can still have like 9-8 type hands, 7-8 and so on. And yeah, I mean, like if he's got a decent ace, um, it's, I guess it's. There's a pretty good chance he's going to call anyway. Um, a lot of perceived, well, not a lot, but like a decent amount of perceived draws in our range as well. Flush draws, and we look pretty polarized as well. <coughs> um, so yeah, once again, I mean, I would recommend just like it, you know, that like uh, when I'm playing 100 an hour. 50, well, yeah, I guess this is 50, um, just to like make, make notes on people, like if you think they're likely to be a weaker player, just mark them as that. Um, it's just helpful, but I mean, this, you know, I don't play 50 at all, and there's just so many players that it's kind of pointless for me to do it, but as you can kind of see, I started doing it out of habit already again. <coughs> so, I mean, I've talked about this before, but blind was blind, your strategy should really just depend on um, a few things, I guess, your style, like how wide do you want to be opening in those positions, and also, um, 
yeah the opponent and how good they are like if they're defending a lot then you perhaps want to lean towards having more of a limping range tighter range and maybe a bigger raising range when you do raise and if they're just really tight you can just open quite small 